we didn't get as much footage as we wanted um, having Paul here but because it's been raining so they the original goal for him to come or when he came was to clear a lot of trees out so we can at least put some things for storage and um, you know we're gonna make some goat shelters and stuff like that uh, but it's been pouring rain so they have gotten a lot done Mike got a little bit of footage of them clearing out the shed He's been a little monkey and he's getting all the stuff that we can't get and it's been such an awesome visit with him here and We got to spend a lot of time with him. So that is good right now. They are the Goats are screaming, but <clears throat> the boys are now Clearing This wood remember all that Wally wood I'll link that video, but Wally brought us a whole bunch of wood for a great deal and so we're just gonna get it moved up to the top of the property. It'll be hiding because we know that's a gold mine right now. But, so they've been doing that um, and other stuff. I don't even know what they've been doing. Say hi boys. Hi boys. Hey girls. <laughs> hey girls. I have been going through boxes that we still haven't yet unpacked from the move to the cabin so I went through them to see what was still good and stuff that we still wanted um, one of the things that I found that I completely forgot about this has only been in storage for about a year because it was a gift from um, Mike's mom and her fiance and it's a whole bunch of like wide mouth lids and some really cool ball canning jars uh, and a whole bunch of these guys and some new lids for canning so I was super happy about that so I washed them up and I'm gonna pack them up right now it's a little bit dark in here let's see um, I've got some boxes packed we've got all up here all cleared off because we had some knickknacks up there um, but yeah my house is in shambles right now because you know packing life Paul is going to leave a day early. He had to be home for tomorrow anyways, but he's going to leave tonight and he's going to be able to come back and help us out uh, another time before the move. So that'll be exciting. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and make him some dinner. We're going to make some spaghetti tonight before he leaves. We called the township today because we have a really funny address and I'm not going to use a real road name, but we'll just put it out there like this. I'm gonna pretend that my road's name is Chicken. So we live at ABC Chicken Road. And we also have a letter, so it's ABC B Chicken Road. But our neighbors, it's not a physical address because it's um, basically cottages and trailers and such past us. We're the only full-time residents up here on this particular side road. And so their address is actually just the letter um, we'll say for example B so we live at ABC B uh, chicken road and they live at B chicken road so our address was funny to begin with but we worked it out with the post office and it all worked out so there's no physical address for the main road but I found out that they're actually in the midst of um, changing some of that so that's good and we just got to wait to hear back from them to see what our new physical address is going to be if it is indeed going to change because the road that we live on has been named something different we'll say goats but our address for this road is still the same road that we're going to move to so it's it's really really funny um, we d currently don't live on, what did I say? <laughs> so we currently live on Goat Road, but it's considered Chicken Road. Is this making any sense? I know, I don't want to give our address away, so chickens and goats are the only thing I can think of. Um, so we got to get the address straightened out, and they're working on it. They were wonderful and um, really easy to talk to. So um, hopefully things get sorted out there <laughs> so that we can get some mail. Um, it's starting to sink in that we're absolutely nuts, but it's also exciting. Uh, <laughs> we are, like, 
for the first week we are going to um, I think be living in a tent or something until all the funds clear in the bank and that we can go buy um, a trailer that is fully functional because both trailers that we had on the property um, one leaked over the winter and it smells pretty bad and I can't even go into it and then the other trailer oh my power just went out <laughs> uh, we haven't had any sun today, so I gotta go and start the generator. But, um, the other trailer doesn't have all its parts working, so we just decided that, um, we're gonna go ahead and buy a used trailer with all its parts working. We're already talking with somebody that sells them, and hopefully we'll have that within the first week. Uh, what else have we done? Um... We've talked with our lawyers and everything is good to go on our end and all the conditions and everything were met on the buyer's end. So that's good. Um, what else did I want to say? We're just super, super busy right now. And I mean, it's for a good cause. It's for something that I have no idea how to even begin. I'm not going to lie. I am a little afraid because it's the unknown but so was coming here. And when I stop and pause and take a breath and look at how far this property has come, that's what's giving me peace. So it's funny the things that you don't realize will give you clarity later on, like all the hard work that we put in here. I didn't realize at the time of doing it that it was going to give me clarity in such a time of uncertainty and as excited as I am it's still nerve-wracking you know like nothing ever goes a hundred percent smoothly although I'm praying for that <laughs> somebody did ask a, a few questions one of them being what are we gonna do when we move up to the property so the first week we're gonna probably live in the tent and then get a trailer we're then going to put that trailer into what's not built yet, but our, instead of building the house first, we're gonna build a pool barn. And we're going to house the trailer inside that pool barn and house all our belongings inside that pool barn. And um, the shelter that we're building right now for the animals is not adequate enough for winter. So we're thinking that we're going to build a wall and build a section for them in that pool barn, um, separate from the trailer, obviously. And, uh, house them over the winter that way and then after the house is built we're hoping that the pool barn takes up basically you know with permits and everything it takes up um, the month of August and then hopefully by the end of August beginning of September we will have that structure built and we can house our trailer and so forth then after that <clears throat> we're going to build the cabin and so the cabin shell, so all the exterior, the roofing, um, the doors and the windows should be up before winter. And then over the winter, we can do all the stuff inside. So that is our game plan. Um, it's exciting. It's nerve wracking. I can't say that enough, but um, yeah, just if you remember to keep us in your prayers, if that if you could. Um, yeah, it's gonna be hard, but we're hoping that there's a lesson in this too. And I'm sure that there is <laughs> somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. All right, so we're back at the old, well, the new place. And up here, I built where I plan on putting the, uh, the trailer for now, just for a very short time until I can get Phil brought in and made a proper trail so I can get back in the back. I got a little shack up there for the, uh, the goats and possibly the chickens. We brought back a load of the firewood and then I'm back here. Let's see. I'm falling over the firewood. We brought some lumber and we got the lumber that we're unloading now. We've also filled up the trailer as much as we could with what we had so far. So, 
we filled all of this those are all bed frames and then we filled boxes back in the back the bathroom is stocked full of boxes brought some stuff in here some stuff up in there just filling everything we can so on for the last little bit There's really no place to put it, honey. So you're gonna get what you're gonna get. Set the bees. There's a little bee nest up in here. I'm gonna have to uh, get some spray and come back. It sound right, boy. Say is thank God for help. Thank God for my kids. That's what family's for. For the greenhouse? Yeah. Like three hundred bucks. Why? Is there a smaller one? No. That was that came from like greenhouse supplier. Why? Well, I built that little temporary greenhouse for you. Um, maybe I should just build one for uh, shelter for our stuff. Maybe. I'll let you decide. Because, as if we weren't already crazy enough, <laughs> with the move and everything else like that, we, well, I don't know, are you coming? Or are you going to stay and pack? I'm going to stay and get some stuff done. Okay. I am going over to our friends over at Plowman's Backyard because they hatched out some chicks for us a few weeks ago and they're ready to come to the homestead. So we have a temporary shelter for them all set up and they're going to live in that probably until we move. Um, but there's six chickens that came to be. From pictures, I'm thinking that there's five hens, one rooster, but I don't know. So I don't know how to sex them yet. I, I respect their privacy. I don't even ask. <laughs> it has no. nothing to do with that. <laughs> you can start to notice certain features in hens and roosters. but You know what I keep coming back to is every time I, I get to this point, I'm like, it's just a horrible time to get more animals. More <laughs> animals. But that's just how we roll. We, we go crazy. Yeah, we do stuff at odd times. We're and expecting we kittens. Scramble and make it all work. And it, I mean, it's... Our life has been barely controlled chaos since like, we got together. And... Yep. <laughs> For sure. So, yeah. And then, uh, so we have kittens coming as well. If you've missed the, the last live, we mentioned it. I don't know if we've mentioned it in an actual video. But there's kittens coming. And Miss Becca is coming up to her heat. Come here, Becca. And so we're thinking, so hopefully we're going to breed this mama. Mm -hmm. Beautiful girl here. Yes, gonna be some big mama. Be yeah. a big girl. Be a you gonna mama. have puppies one day, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Yes. Paws crossed. Paws crossed. No. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's go. Well, I'm gonna go over. I've already messaged them, letting them know I'm leaving, and we're just gonna bring them back. Cause I think they're, I think they're about three weeks old, maybe four weeks old now. Yeah. I have to double check, but um, I have a little tote to bring him back in with some shavings. So let's go get that. Let's go to Plumman's backyard and we'll meet you soon. Where's the keys? 
Where? Oh. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Here they are. Oh, hi, Dougie. All different colors for the most part. Hi, guys. Are you ready to come home? <laughs> What's up? I don't know what I'm going to name them all. <laughs> I'm just praying you've got one hen in there. <laughs> I'm thinking that there was five hens and uh, one rooster. I think the white one's a rooster. We'll see. I don't know. Um, so we have, so the Buff Orpington's the dad, yes. The dad. And then we have one mixed with Bard Rock. We're thinking two of them are full Buff Orpington. Mm -hmm. The white one, what would what was it mixed with again? A Shawnee Columbian, Claire? Columbian rock. A Columbian Rock. And, and sorry. Go ahead. I think it's a, a red, or like the black sex thing. Okay. What I think the other one is. Woohoo! Oh. Do you want me to film that? Will you take them out? Yeah. Sure. Do they still have food left? Yes, that bag right there in there. Oh, so perfect. there's I'm plenty. Like, I forgot about that. <laughs> I just brought this because we're going literally around the corner. Hi, Dougie. Hi, buddy. Cool. Not quite yet there. Okay. Yeah, there's one here. Oh, there we go. One here. Okay, okay, okay. No Dougie. Oh wow. You have beautiful eyes. Beautiful. <laughs> Alright, so we got one in there. This one was the last one. Yeah? Oh. Hello. How do you tell the difference between this one and the other yellow? Um, I think it's because of the white on the head. Okay. There you go. Yeah. There's the bird rock. I'm hoping. Nope. Let's see your eyes. Beautiful. I love their eyes. Yes. I'm, oh, you're going to come on up, aren't you? We're not going to have it. Remember last time we got chickens yes. together? Oh, <laughs> ah, got stuck in my hair. You can't do that. No. The other one already tried that. You must not. You must be a rooster. What do you guys think? Is this one a rooster? <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. It would It would be part, what's it called? Par for the, par for the course or something? Oh, here. Ah. Alright. <laughs> and I'm thinking, oh, you're so cute. I'm thinking a hen for this one too. But I don't know. I'll have to look at, because I know what a small buff Orpington looks like. So we'll have to look at uh, what a small young uh, barred rock looks like. Compare them to rooster. And one more. Okay. We gotta think of good names for these guys. I don't know what your names can be. I'm thinking maybe this one's a rooster too. But I don't know. I love when they're this little. <laughs> When I get this one in there, will you push the wood back, pull it, and then let me drop it in, and then push it back. And we'll just leave it so there's some light in there. Oh. So, yay! <laughs> We're crazy. I think our kittens are coming any day now, too. Wow. So we'll see. We have lots of babies. Yes. <laughs> so thank you guys. You're welcome. For uh, hatching these guys out, taking care of them. And having patience with me will I keep forgetting everything right now. <laughs> so I just got back home. 
these guys are all, those are all my hens and roosters and chickens. And we're just going to put these guys into the new home. It sound right, boy. These guys are just watching. Don't mind the pile of junk. They're like, what's going on? Make sure they can't get out here. We're gonna have to fix this up. Ugh. That'll be good for right now. But I am gonna go get them some food so that they can know that this is their new home. They're already scratching around in the grass. That's so cool. What is it, guys? Oh, they want in there. <laughs> Until next time, guys. As always, take care and God bless.